I'm a little bit more life with strange true colors today. This is uh, us continuing Steph's story. I hope you please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I want you think down in the comment section down below. And we're going to continue on. Okay, work mode, go. Man, it's almost like we're a real rake still. Shh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. Can't read that. Task me game glad you're doing some with that little stuff. Carefully wrap up the back up. Some of what we hit back there should never be in Earth. Believe it or not, the shop used to be a quiet spot. I guess nobody stays hit forever. Speaking of hip, can you explain what the hell K-pop is? A group of kids from the local high schools stop by the tomb for, I mean, home to visit with us old fossils and the one I was paired with could not stop talking about it. Related, what does it mean for one to stand? I swear I used to be cool. Okay. Aw, I was kind of pulling for stuff too. Old Critter. Old Critter is a trend. Dear Steph, thank you for using Old Critter. Please don't tell. Your friend, the poll critter is the fastest, easiest way to hear what the audience is thinking, and it's completely free. Your poll critter results indicated below. KRSVP listeners help Steph name the devil cat, Valkyrie, uh, Sausage, Princess Knife Fingers, Ghost, Scream, and Elves in the Hope, and Steph too. Have a big decision to make? A nerve wracking event on the horizon? Wish you knew how it all turns out? With one little call, you can. Give me a ring and have your fortune told right here on air. It's cheaper than life insurance. Uh, Look out for sticky meteorites. Sometimes, this thing is the only reason I come to work. I like that he hand wrote in a one with all the exclamation points. Hey Steph, I want to my first prayer I did. And that meeting someone just like you said, he lives far away, so we're taking a slow, but anyways it is nice. Just want to send you a bracelet. Thanks, man. Dude, your ad sheet has seen better what days. What the hell? Oh fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Please mention hot dinner house, also coming soon, live, something evening. Bradley for Romans, Otto's is Haven, Spring Coast, Crescent Name, and Bradley's favorite name, Christmas Court. Price of body changes, apple and ice cream. So we're giving some ring customers in the store, so I guess we're having this one straight and long and short. We're open Halloween, we're giving out free cones to customers with. That's really fun. Do the black kind thing. haven listeners by now you've heard me talk about everything the black lantern is famous for great food great beer great service and great atmosphere so what are you waiting for one more reason to go then consider happy hour happy hour right yes happy hour where the already great food and beers are even cheaper but only for an hour. What a deal. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to live music, live music on Monday evenings, or maybe Sunday evenings. If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. That is a good way of doing that. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Three weeks day. alone? Three weeks alone in a little box? I thought... I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> 
probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Uh, yeah, fear. Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Same shit, different day. Read all ads and answer at least two comments. Put on whatever this is. And records, browse. KRCT's countdown to Halloween begins next week. Don't miss out on some of the most iconic horror film scores and some giveaways too. Alright, we'll do another uh to that. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. And a costume. Who wears a costume? So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of black forest cherry. Anyway, check it out. Go ahead and get Grimley's KRCT done. is proudly sponsored by Grimley's, uh, Auto. I think that was repair repairs. Uh... Grimley's Auto Repairs, Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for a, long a darn time. long time, like since the caveman days when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Nice. All right, so let us... Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. 
fresh goodies. Time to find your home. That See, game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Let's get the replay. Rung by rung, sucker. Eat it, Gabe. We're basically tied. Oh, wow, it really fits the background. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. This thing's really coming along. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Looks it's like some vigilante justice to me. Let's see what Ethan does with that. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Holy shit. Like, Kasha Kasha? That's cool. Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Violet gave this to me on our first date. Kind of made up for missing pride. At least at the time. Oh shit, I need to give this back. I should Next. probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We, of course Fiona wanted to be a bard. Of course she did. Fiona was amazing in this. Cool. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Hey, horse. Did you know that gummy bears are made out of horse feet? Did not know that. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. I might have been a little ah. optimistic about the demand. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. Pull yourself together, Misty. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. Sounds like fun. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Yeah, Country yeah. is one part heartbreak, one part liquor. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. <sighs> Wait, which one did Gabe do again? Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. I already tried rubbing his belly. Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. I think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. I dragged this whole ass chair out here and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Crim 
dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. <laughs> as long as bands keep putting out actual records, I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. I'm kind of guy, when people talk about me, I make like a, I feel like a million bucks. Listen to a lot of music, also the radio, if you hire my DJ, you won't regret it. Camp counselor, two to three years. Henry Cafe, delivery guy, dogs. Uh, about being a ride share driver for a while, I write some skills, music, listening to music, talking about music, CPR, or else me. Yeah. Definitely getting this one framed. Just checking out some other options. Mammoth job search. The wasted. The wasteland is looking for the next DJ to dominate Moonland Radio's stellar taste of music and broadcast experiences. Looking through the lens looks at five years later, the photographs reflect on the shocking events of Arcadia Bay. been a while since I've worked on my song ish thing yeah I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee assuming I can get one I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year and I still don't know what it's supposed to be I like it though so far. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Dark Maybe breakdown. I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. Halloween, you gotta do this. Do this. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Poor CDs. None of the charm of vinyl, nor the convenience of streaming. But hey, I can't even imagine working the shop in the throes of Beatlemania. I wonder how long it took to get the sin of hairspray and Jack May. I can't imagine doing the same job for like four decades. Uh. No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. Yeah. Cardboard stink. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. This filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. I can't believe this was gathering dust in the back, when it could have been gathering dust out here. Alright, read short. Let's see what I have left. Oh good, all of it. Alright, just a few chores left. Of course, this sounds like check. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay. 
I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it. Which was dumb. This isn't the fifties. Uh-huh. Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? It's not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Critical fail. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? Give him a second. Jim. I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Hey, kind of Okay. Boss. You seem to be still struggling with this, so I'm going to step it out for you. Did she say to you the words, I like it when you compliment my ass? No? Oh, okay. Then by thank you, what she actually meant was, let's end this conversation as soon as possible by acting like everything's normal. Do you know when women do that? When they are being creeped the fuck out. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. <laughs> Man, it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Still, Shh, Kasha. Aw, I was kind of pulling for stuff too. Let's... Look out for sticky meteorites. Uh, much of Jim Rat, Jim Weasel, let's not waste each other's time. He's typing. Who put the Ram and Ram Lamb Ding Dong? Check out my Synthwave project with Holiday. He's typing. User hasn't entered a tagline, kind of mysterious. I'm kegged. User hasn't entered a tagline. Low key disability activist, high key nonsense. This user has an attack line. Fuck you, app. Okay, you got. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. 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 So you I left her out red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Why do you have to make it complicated? Alright, I don't even know what you're talking about. Let's scroll up to the top. If we go up. Alright. Pop quiz, best nasty album. Group. It's going to be super percentage, but. They recorded a seven inch back before they slammed coffin lid and it's whatever shit rips. Uh, lies and bad intentions, not good pool, muscle name breaking time. Alright, we read part of that. Read by day, return. 
Alright, I think it's just here. Oh, uh, because I was going to read some impressions someone was meant to me literally all the time. It's only fair to give you a heads up if you're not the first person I've ever seen. If you can't hang and I absolutely get it, just let me know and I'll try to dial back and I can hang that. Our superintendent's pressure is the point is apt, sure. Let's carry out pressure away pretty. Party A hereby consents to be crushed upon to whatever degree and can see party B deemed appropriate. Oh, hey, we get different pride. So I don't drive and I also work on the time, so I miss it. How was it? Good fun, but not like that fun. I'm definitely over it. You get this one. It's okay. I really want to go straight. Are you going to make the obvious show? Should I? Well, give it to me, Gabe. LOL. I mean, you know, pride is pride, but the parts that woo woo, the parts that suck, so I guess. I probably guess what sucks, but tell me anyway. Usually, you know, overpriced beer, sunburn, no weed rule, car company selling, pretending to care about queer folks, and so every day. Still is nice, you know. Oh, sounds nice. Probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away, like two hours from Ava's room. You know, fuck it. If you want to grab coffee sometime, find a way to make it down. Really like that. Sure, you don't mind. By that, we're characters of the lacy, lonely, lonely gays driving to meet up one another. This is my duty to those who've come before. The reference from noble heritage has inspired me if you prefer. I don't mind driving up to Haven for real. You should totally visit Haven Spring Rules. I think you'd like here. Okay. Today, hey, just want to let you know I got home safe. Good. Thanks much for the weekend. Didn't realize how badly I needed it until like now. Oh, hey, thank you. Kind of needed it too. I'm sure it's okay that I commandeered your apartment for the whole weekend. Shh, got nothing out of it. LLL series to add fun music. Hey, what was the name of your friend at the bar? Gabe? No, the older guy in the hat. Oh, Ducky. Not original. Ah, oh, that's his legal name. Why? Okay, so cutting together the old informational infomercials from the nineties for this college project, and I'm pretty sure this is him posting an infomercial for something called the Bulletproof Blender. Send it to me now, please. Hello, I'll email to you. Holy shit, that's him. Awesome. Flat out fascinated with this dude. He's lived like a dozen ass lives. You gotta uh, find me one of the Bulletproof Blenders and make a smoothie out of Nicholas. Delicious. Uh, Night. Uh, bummer what happened. I'm sure you have the band with working. Might be on an awesome night, but I'll check see what I can. Okay. Got home from the worst day ever. She's immediately disengaged from moments to down. Made eye contact with me and like one time she asked if it was a gold star. I thought it was what? How is that any of her business? Thank you. Anyway, the whole night I kept thinking about how much I'd rather be with you, thinking about how much Jane said. Luckily we got to meet each other and I don't know. Maybe we should like have a we a conversation, so what are we? Rest uh, Hey, I'm so sorry. Then did stop later, got a well mission at this group. Oh, you still only got busy, right? When I tried to have a conversation, but I really can True. Sounds like it's true, I need to fuck a while, I should have thought, okay, while we're here, so we're doing stuff. Uh, just looking for somebody, so. Like you love me, what you're looking for right now is it's not partnery. That's fun, because when I say if I didn't mean it, then. Why does it feel wrong? Stuff you vanished, maybe it wasn't because of what I said, and maybe it was, but either way, it's a scary new day. Yeah, I don't know if what you did. I know, I'm sorry, but B, it wasn't about you, okay? I like it matters about it, how long it's going to happen, John, how long it's going to the longer. This is, isn't what I want, I think we should talk about I hope you figure your shit out. Me too. Alright, so you screw with Violet. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Make Man, the first move. What do I even say? Ask her about music. So upset up what kind of music you make. I doubt you're gonna make take the boots. Pretentious, try me. It's like part way EDM experimental bedroom synth pop. Sounds cool. Well, it sounds right as hell. Ah ha ha, thank you. Playing Fort Collins next weekend, you should come. If I could, but I'm working all weekend. Hey, can I ask you, STH, shoot, did you used to be in a band? Yep. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it was wild. That's a uh, two piece kind of pocket kind of all. Drugstore make it. That's it. For sure, it's all you and SLC and Tom and Kate. That is crazy. What were you doing, SLC? My mom and dad live out there. Oh, okay. I was visiting for my dad's birthday. How'd you end up with the show? I'm telling you to take your dad to a gay punk rock show. I oh, no. I sent my little sis to a gay punk rock show. My folks and me don't really buy it. What do you have to these days? No more band? DJing at a radio station. Sounds cool. Yeah, I get to force my musical taste on everyone's show, which is pretty sick. Good for you. Well. I should get good. It's cool to get to talk to you. Your band was really good. You want to go get drinks sometime? I don't think that's a good idea. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. Something like that. You're cool. It's just Hayden Springs is a billion miles away. I'm so glad we got to chat. Maybe we'll see each other around. Maybe. So, no go. Uh, I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. Thanks I should put on a happy face and play nice. But God, I don't know if I have the energy. Play nice, if you will. Play nice. Hey, you seem really cool. Do anything to go for Halloween? Yeah, that's a lot of exclamation points. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Not really Halloween kind of guy, but I think you are. Love Halloween. Sure, Halloween rules. How do you not like Halloween? You don't have the time for it. Living that grass for life. Oh, dang. Would now be a bad time to mention that I dropped out of undergrad? Oh, drop out. You want to dig into that story? That shit real. Talk about your passions. Hey, you want to get real? Tell me something real about Rita. Tell me about who you're passionate about. Uh, uh, I fucked up would it be if I said nothing. Pretty fucked up, and I also wouldn't buy it. Come on. You want a real shit? Dig deep. Okay, you're right. So I went my first year undergrad. I thought I wanted to be a clinical psychologist. I was passionate about it. What happened? I was bad at it. Great. Talking part, bad at listening part. Now I'm passionate about it. You and girls on this app until they tell me what their embarrassing secrets. Oh, you're the ones pulling the guts out of that. Guess they have something in common. Then. Your turn. Tell me what you're passionate about. Rules and stats. I like systems, game logic, like cool art, and tell some creative concepts. For example, you know, strike me as a girl who plays a lot of kingdoms and caverns and hunts. Fantasy thing? That's a good guess. Well, I used to GM K and C games a lot. Seeing the way the systems would spit out moments of drama, pathos, tell me, or not just really any feeling in the world like it. GM Game Master. If you don't like systems, then do you? You like systems when you control them. Please stop. Like, I'm better. I gather this for you, then the whole brutal honesty keep a real bit, but I'm not super feeling. Can you let up a little? I thought you were having fun. Oh fuck, it was on the first, maybe a different day I'd be down. You caught me in the worst bubble. Didn't realize. You wanna come over? Excuse me? Do you want to come over to my place? After all that? I have to. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'll send you a message when I should do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Alright, I don't know what this is. 
Oh, this is the first girl we dated. Alright. Or tried to. So. Thanks. Let me go down to where I think we left. Feel so bad you're taking the bus back out of Jordan. I was fine like the bus. By the way, I can reiterate how great you were on stage. Oh, that was badass. Stop. Don't stop. LOL. That's where your comfort zone, isn't it? On stage? Yeah, like you were so confident. I don't know, I guess. It's nice the words were written down for you beforehand. It's easy to be cool and brave when you know exactly how everything's going to turn out. Harder to do in real life. Maybe you're right. I used to think I was not knowing what was coming. You know what I say a lot? I used to. Wow. Read the fifth after one day. Sorry. Say me anything by it. You know? They say that. Sorry. Just keep saying sorry for picking the same. So wait. Quick question. If that's okay, shoot. When we played KNC on Saturday, you fucked the rules, didn't you? What? How dare you? Yeah, hey, yeah, hello. Well, only because you had totally eaten shit against the arch, arch ogre. Oh, uh, well, thank you. You're really a good game master, you know. You have to do that sometimes. I've ran a D&D campaign where there is one simple trap, and everyone fell the save roll, and that one trap was going to literally kill the entire party. And I have to, I had to, uh, Magically make it disable itself, because if I didn't, the entire party would have been dead on the next turn. Aha, I don't know about all that. Still pretty rusty, but it was fun. Opportunity rises. Hey, just poking to make sure you, you see. Sorry to bug you, just want to know if making any plans, and that's good. You made an interview, and hey, shit, sorry. Yeah, kind of crazy over here. Try it for next week, sure. Hey, are we still on for this weekend? Hey, got a flake, I'm sorry, okay. I can ask about another major. Can't get coverage at work. Oh, okay. Hit me up when you have some time. Death. Hey, stranger, I know it's been a minute. But I need some of that quality stuff. Why should I audition on a production of Christmas Carol? Company is super experimental and weird. So, like, maybe they do some cool with ghosts, but there is zero cool roles for women. Heck yeah, even if there's no roles for women, doesn't mean you can't play a man. I don't know, like, I really wanted to work with this Kevin for a minute, but I really didn't want to hear the super heteronormative girl who broke Scrooge's heart. But maybe if I could be one of the guests, be different. I think that'd be a pretty good guess. That'd be the past. Guess to Christmas past. I don't know where my eyes were rolled the whole time. Like, I didn't know I was in some of your childhood trauma. Is did all my homework and my girlfriend broke up and maybe get out of like every paper so no the way rougher trailer. Ha, um, okay. I got folks coming over to game night, so I gotta hop off talk later. Yeah, of course. Alright, so that everybody? Yeah, okay. Got Mikey. Alright, so the package, oh, it's like the staff, hey, my child here's staff, alright, I guess I'm soon, so I'm going to hit him with this fancy day, you go, dude, kind of worried, we're going to talk to you, especially since tomorrow, I'll let you know tomorrow, so I'm going to leave your friend on red when y'all are gamers together, not cool. Need some advice for picking out your Halloween costume this year? Look no farther, I've got you covered. Costume tips coming at you soon, right here on KRCT. Off the comics. Sons of Lid. Sounds more like Sons of Anarchy.
check. Gotta grab email. this from the CD section. I was helping to film a CD on the hall dealer, Apocalypse Red Album. Found it. Uh, some sort of PTSD? Come on, Gingrich. Never enough time, always a phone call. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've... Um... This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. No wrong hey, answer. don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. E20 time. Oof, five. Not great luck. Bullies are the worst, especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? That was a pretty bad roll. You stop caring. All right. Ready to hear your future? Yeah. What is it? Good news. It gets a lot better. Because of you. Her hateful crap starts to sound like white noise and everything changes. I... I've tried that. She always finds a way to get to me. I don't... How do I not care? You learn your work. You figure out what you think of yourself, and you realize she's wrong. Her jabs stop hurting because you know in your heart of hearts that they're BS. Easier said than done. I never said it was easy, but it is worth it. I just don't believe it's really going to happen. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Alright, sound effects now. Sticky dinos. Don't forget to do some banter. Let's talk weather. Forecasts show another week of beautiful, sunny Colorado fall weather coming up. So keep an eye out for snow. Oh, uh, crows. Oh, 
how does I had a lot of fun with Vi. Ugh. What is wrong with me? Oh, gonna do that awkward listening in silence thing. You know, headbang and rock out with it too. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that to you. Yeah, I like the shirt, Funk Head. Right, we're gonna look through the records, queue up whatever the last one is, and then try to finish the list. Same shit. Take the new albums. Of the those. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. What was wow. your last chore? I really don't want to do any of this. I've seen it trash. I mean, it's all pretty good. It's not too bad. They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? Is it Chloe Price? Did you actually know Chloe? It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. I'm gonna have to play the other Life Gabe. is Strangers on here. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Alright, so you got things going on. Yeah, Stefan asked what she is, like, most consistently positive person ever. Sounds appealing. Man, it sounds like I could use another talent, right? I don't have it in mind. That's why I gotta keep the chair going around. So I can suck up the chair. Like the sucker fish that I attach and plus the spider shark. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, fine. No more glint. Tell me one thing you feel good about. Hmm. Recently discovered my childhood love of pain and moon policy. Ah, oh, dinosaur kid. Really cool, popular, beloved one of my peers. Yes. So much has changed since we were kids. So many new species discovered. So much more to know. It's fascinating. Your turn. Something you feel good about. Cat. Well, I say, my cat, she's not really anybody's cat. And she hates me. Only more than less than she hates everyone else. 
I have no idea where she is now, but I'm pretty sure she has been. I feel like maybe you have an honor the spirit of the prompt. Okay, you think it's time for me to mosey? The pot one her Margaret and ask her out. Is he be up for dinner some night? To shoot super straight with you? Probably not. You're fun to talk with, but it's like I said, I need around folks with skew positive from now mental health. Like, we should be pals in a group saying, but one on one, we make each other grumpy. Are really that bad? Yeah, kind of. Am I seriously that much of a downer? You're not a downer, and not well, I'm looking to understand. Say yeah, and move on. Yeah, of course, thanks for being honest with me. Always. Uh, wrong one. Well, you should be a day, man. You should. Time to widow's one. Wow. What's widow's one? The bar. Colorado Springs. Colorado Spritz. On my way. Okay, maybe we should probably cut this short. Yeah, I'm safe. I live around the corner. Generally, leave to hear that. Sounds like you're drunk. Please don't be mad. Gonna be Damn okay. It, Fiona. I know you were just trying to help, but why couldn't you just mind your own business? Well, now you've been really lonely and hated them. Now, no. Come on, if I can help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're social media working with them. And she's a bunch of people are talking about in Arcadia Bay. It's fun. I wasn't trying to pry, but I also wanted help. But then I've seen all this stuff and there's really no business. No wonder if this time of year is rough. Now you know. Shake this. You know why I'm so fucking happy, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh. No idea. I'd love to say yes, but what could you do? So sorry, Seth. Well, don't really know what to say. Maybe the only fair thing is to tell you that. I don't know how to deal with something like this. How to help. Maybe you can. I know. That's what I'm trying to say. I am breaking it, or are you breaking it? I didn't think y'all were dating. I thought y'all were just friends. No, I don't think so, or maybe. I don't know. Just that, uh, you know me, I'm not good at being someone's emotional anchor, I'm scared of everything. I'm bad at pretending to be strong. Maybe right now I'm not what you need, and maybe the nicest thing I can do for you is be honest about that. Please take care of yourself, okay, so. You too. Alright, is that everybody? That's everybody. Water dish, drawing. This one I can keep up for a while. Thanks, Gabe. My tiny oppressive command center. Should be able to close up now. Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Phone call? North Star 46 to Enchanted Tent. I understand. Okay, I know how some of your ears here is with the memories. Uh, 
attack you and all you want to do is shut them down. I wanna would like to give you anything to get either tonight I think of our Katie Ray, Chloe or me. But just in case I'm here for you and I always will be no matter how such a terrible the night is, I'm not pleased but sorry and I still have you in my life. I know that you feel the same even though you are literally the worst of showing it. Anyways, you know, I'm around, definitely get some gaming distraction or pressure, but really I'm around Mikey. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. So, if we ever do another playthrough of this, I'll probably choose the other option, because I want to see how that changes the story. I like how they combine. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's uh, well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on, let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay, where were we? Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But if I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. My old DM notes are the exact same way. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I did not realize that was the same Mikey. Head with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now guilt i feel so fucking guilty that i spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life you really think you did anything wrong you were a kid they didn't deserve my jealousy they deserve so much better look steph what you're feeling I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. This thing grows more every session. My calm side. The courageous and heroic warrior. Elamon. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. So I now have a deeper appreciation for this game, realizing how much it tied into uh, the first Life is Strange games. I didn't realize that everybody was who they were back then. I thought they were new people with a new story. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck. 
I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but... I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom. Rachel's parents. Half the town. There was no way. So I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. How did you do it? I don't understand how you did it. Me neither. I just... kind of... did. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like. How can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Right. The courageous and heroic warrior. Elamon. Alright, dice. Whoa. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah. That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. Because he's your friend. But you didn't. Real friends come back. Why? Why do you think? Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I don't think either one was going to be a good one. I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Yeah, you need Mikey. to apologize. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't. But, continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. <laughs> It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. That's promising. I never thought of it that way. 
Okay. That's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <sighs> nice. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say, though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. <laughs> hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Made any so, resolutions? What are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years. And all that time, I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. don't ruin it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. Except in the guild. You give her a call. She's surprised but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You beat yourself up. You stop really listening to her. You're too busy blaming yourself for every little thing she talks about. <sighs> yeah. But then... You remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. 
You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here, and one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did, and you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Biscuit Queen. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. We're actually going to call it there. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share that video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think of uh, Steph and Mikey being the Steph and Mikey who are playing D&D &D and Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm. Tell me... Uh, your opinions on Arcadia Bay and I guess uh, Steph's dating life. But yeah, let me know what you think. Have a good day. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.